This is episode 8 and I am Bob and Pickle. Welcome to the channel. If you have not been here before, make yourself comfortable and enjoy the show. Anyway, what are we doing? Today we are upgrading the walls. So these are the walls that we did in a previous episode, about two or three episodes ago now. And we are going to upgrade them because we have now got iron and we can use the stone mason tools and we've now got stone to build with, which means we can build all this, dress it all up, dress the facade up with stone, keep the trolls out, build a stone path here. A, um, a viewer has left a comment on my one of the last episodes saying that if we put a step in here, then the uh, mobs can't walk through. So we're going to try something to do with that, try and stop them coming through, a little step up or something like that. Um, and see how we get on. But this is going to take an awful lot of resources. So I'm going to have to go and gather some stone. I'm going to leave chests dotted all the way around the walls with stone in. But while I'm doing that, the other day I met up with uh, Mantis on the server. And she has helped me go back. And as you can see, I've got my blue cape on. She helped me go back and get, gather my stuff from the swamp in the northeast where we died in the last episode so i've got my stuff back we also went to her swamp if i can quickly go to the map the trusty map that we used you see all this, this is where we traveled the other day with mantis so we were here and this is our new uh boss that we're going to be tackling in the next episode i think mantis's base is here and then she has got a swamp here that she's put a portal to so we raided a few crypts in here but she had a big boat um, the long ship. We loaded that up with iron and we sailed all the way around here and then we sailed all the way around here and into our island through the uh, gap here. You can't really see it. You can just about see it there now. So we sailed in through here, through the middle where I fell out the boat and then had to try and get back in before the boat sailed off without me and we made it back to community town. So we have got, before the sun goes down, we have got quite a bit of iron. We managed to gather three stacks, I think, and I had some before from what I gathered in the last episode. So we have got in here two stacks of scraps there. And I think I've got... This is my stuff here as well. We've got these uh, withered bones. Now these, I think, are to spawn the next boss. So we've also got quite a fair bit of money and we've got some poison arrows. There's loads of stuff we've collected which is why everything is the way it is and everything's changed. Right, we come around to here because we've also got a chest over here. We have got another pile of scraps there. We've got 100 nails which we've crafted to make a long ship in preparation to go and get some more iron before Mantis contacted me. Um, yeah, we've got quite a fair, fair bit of stuff going on. We've got a few bits of iron already smelted up. So I'm going to just go off and build, build with the iron. Sorry, build with the iron. We're going to build some stone cutters because you need the iron to build those. This is a stone cutter here. I do believe. I do believe. Yeah, stone cutter. So you need those placed down like the workbenches so you can build iron. Oh, it's got dark. So I'm going to go off and do that. But yeah, I'll leave you with the uh, a short clip of the shenanigans that Mantis and I got up to raiding the crypts and everything like that. Just to catch you guys up on what's been going on. I might do some recording actually. Hey, hey, this oh, might be fun. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I got that. I got that on camera. <laughs> and yeah, I thought you were recording. Yeah, I wasn't. Then I decided to, and you decided to smash the boat up. <laughs> right, I need to work out where all the rocks are, don't I? Yeah. I think this way's partially safe. Uh, uh, apart from that rock there. As soon as it gets this rough, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna crash. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever, I mean, I've literally bottomed out on the ocean, but and I've it's... never capsized the ship. Right, okay. So I don't, I don't think it's actually possible to capsize it. <laughs> don't, don't speak too soon. <laughs> <laughs> as, as I lose everything in yeah. the middle of the ocean, they clobbered. Okay, yeah. got it. <laughs> Pressure. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you can get us close, then what I can do is I can go ahead and pop down a crafting table, pop down the portal. We can pop through the portal. I've got an extra bed at my base for right. you. With sleep so that you and can then set your spawn. Yeah. Yep, sleep and then come back and then we'll go get your body because I do not want to deal with the whites. Those things are race or whatever they are because they are the nasty what? and they hit hard. The ghosts, basically. Oh, okay. They're, yeah, they're like race or something. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so. Alright, All right, here we go. go. Going in. Sick. Oh, there's a. Oh. Alright, 
If I jump out? Yeah, you can jump out. Oh, there's a slime. Uh, bow. Oh, yep, I got it. There's loads of oh, slime. Oh, there's multiple. Ah, yeah. oh, there's loads. <sighs> there's also leeches. Alright. Oh, great. That one's gone. All right, oh. just stay out of the water. Stay out of the water. All right, now I'm gonna go, Bob Man. All right, this should. Yeah, just stay out of the water. Oh, I see him. I see All him. Right, here we go. All right, uh -huh. go through. <laughs> <laughs> I survived a swamp. <laughs> this looks amazing. Thank you. Yeah, this is here. We can we can go ahead and take a tour if you like. Yeah. Um, let let it get a bit lighter so we can see. So this is this is the front out here. Oh, you've done so much more. When I last saw it, you had the portals up in the top. Mm -hmm. um, but that was it. You hadn't done any of the roof or any. Wow. Well, yeah, no. The roof the roof is fully on. And there's um, some windows and stuff on the side here. Oh, on right, both oh yeah, sides, yeah. So front and back. So we're gonna go in, grab my stuff, mm -hmm. and, and then, then come, come back, back through the portal, and then go mm -hmm. and do some swamp hunting elsewhere. I'll just run and grab it. I shall defend, I shall defend the ship. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Okay. You, <laughs> you always end up standing on my head, it's so funny. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, there is uh, one area that is open. Right. We need to get you the headlamp too. Yeah, Make, Thick, I didn't realize how expensive everything feet. was. Oh, yeah. But I think I might have found an island where I can set up a troll farm. Oh, nice. So, All right. Pick a, uh, which pick a room, yeah. <laughs> go, for, uh, go forward. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So. Oh, in fact. I've got a crib that we could end up, you know, raiding and stuff. And well, I like it. The game's been nice to me for once. Oh, nice. Okay, over here. Uh, there's 10 iron. There's 22 of the ancient bark. Right. And then the amber, if you want to grab that stuff. Can't see anything at the moment. Oh, there's a blob. Let me get the blob. It's just... And there's a jogger standing right next to you. Oh, there he is. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, uh, you just keep it very quiet. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we've got another, uh, okay. There are Withered Bone, Amber, and Ruby. Right. It's nighttime. Um, oh. I'll leave right. you out there uh, on your own then. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. Come, come on here, I, I put a chest, I put a chest down. Right. Put your iron in it. And go through the portal. Oh, yeah, because you can't take it, can you? Right. Yep. yep, and then we can come back, we can come back and grab it and then head for the ship, drop it off. Ah, uh, Droga! Uh, what, what, that's what, what, you! <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna talk to you, a Droga! <laughs> no, just poison! <laughs> See, this is this is the reason why I keep getting shot in the head. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, no offense, men. Oh. You know. <laughs> Can you? Yeah, you should be. Uh, yeah, uh, ladder's right here. So if you come over here, interact with the ladder. It'll bring you up mm -hmm. on the ship. Storage. So can I be knocked out of the boat if I'm not holding on to something? Yep. Hold fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, they say that you know either hold fast or sit. So you can, right. you, can you can end up sitting if you want to do that. So. Um, now sit the question is, is, is I have no clue how to get back. Like that's that's <gasps> that's <gasps> elders' power. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was trying to find the sit button again. It's X. Okay. I'm sat down, I'm behaving myself. It's a lot faster than uh, the other boat, though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. How far have we got to go? Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, we've got to wait. We're about twice as far as we went earlier, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, whoa, oh. whoa! 
Oh, that's the floor. That was a bit of lag. Yeah. That was a bit of lag. That was a bit of lag. Crud, crud, crud. I'm gonna hit the sandbar. Oh, Crap. oh, rocks, Don't hit the sandbar. Rocks. Oh. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Good, good steering. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> oh. what? What's that? No, What's that no, noise? No, 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 What's no. that? That is a sea serpent. Where no. is it? Oh my gosh, it's behind us. Is it? Oh, it's right behind us. It's, it's caught up with us. <laughs> Do I need to shoot it? Do I need to shoot it? No, I, I mean, you can. If you want to sit there and try to shoot it. I'm going to try to... Oh my gosh, we are lagging. We are lagging. Can I? I mean, you can, you can try to shoot it. Um, I need to... Yeah, I'm going to try to get us into the lake. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could do this. Not at the speed. It's backed oh. off a bit. It's backed off. Okay. Okay. All right. I, I scared right. it. Oh, who's that? Who's that? There's a there's a guy on the shore. Oh, that's Odin. Say hi, Odin. Hello. <laughs> he's, he he's checking us out, oh, seeing right, if okay. we're worthy. Right. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, grab that. Swim. Okay, I'm. I'm. I'm not. Okay, I've got it. Okay, grab. Grab the ladder. Grab the ladder. Press B on the ladder. Press the ladder. Press the ladder. Press the ladder. Oh, oh, oh no! Go forward, 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 forward. Oh, it's oh, fall. Okay, press E on oh, the ladder. There. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was. I was. I was millimeters away from taking damage then, and I've only got 27 health. So, oh wait, we can't. Okay. Ah, uh, there is no ramp over here. Do you want me to build one? Yeah, no, we can, we, I mean, we can walk around. Because it's just to the side, so. So, I wanted to bring you in as I woke up on this day, because as you will read on the screen in a minute, hopefully, day 1000. Woohoo! We've done 1000 days on this server. So, and that's days played. Because obviously it pauses the, uh, the days while we're off the server. Um, so, what an achievement that is in itself, hey? Um, we might end up with a raid today. <laughs> so, I have been busy. What can I show you? I have spent about between 8 and 10 hours basically chopping trees down and mining stone just for today's episode. It has taken me roughly about a week and a half on and off because I have other episodes I need to do on my other channel. Um, but we have got, I think, three of the four kind of entrances ready with resources i have done four like three sorry three chests full of stone i've got three chests full of wood and we've also got i think two two and a half chests of core wood and fine wood and that's what i've been doing for the last uh i think they're roughly about 10 days so i must have spent about yeah an hour a day maybe so what we're gonna do is i'm going to chuck this stuff back in a chest like i just said um uh, I'll chuck it in this one. How many times can I say chuck? we put that in there, 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 there. Hopefully we've got enough. I'll keep the resin on me. So I think we're okay so far. I've had a few raids while I've been off doing my stuff. We had a troll turn up. So it's kind of changed my idea. Now I've actually experienced a raid uh, on this base. I've changed my plans. I was going to put stone all the way around. And just stone up the whole surroundings to make it look like a wall. But I don't think that is entirely necessary. So we had a, ro a troll, a roll. We had a troll turn up and I was in this uh, archery tower here. And the troll cannot get past this wall. So it will just stand there in front of you. It will try and throw stones and it hits the, uh, the archery tower. Which is why some of this is damaged here. Um, so it will try and throw stones at you. And you can just fire um, arrows into its face. So, <laughs> which <laughs> very pleasant. Um... But because of the Hearth and Home update, we can now have upside down ones of these. Um, I took the... I need the hammer. I'll just put the hammer back. What we're going to do today, though, is we're going to run around to this wall here. Um, I'm going to dress up the entrances to look really smart and more to be protective. And hopefully the stone works. But I'm doing this all on camera. Like, on the fly, building. It's what I love doing on this uh, on this game. It's trying to, trying to come up with something fancy with you guys watching the process. So, this here will be the height of the highest um, entrance. It's two... We're going to here. It is two of these uh, wood wall, walls high. And there is one more round, uh, another quarter of the way round to that entrance over there. That is the same height as well. So, I thought we'll try and design it here. 
for you guys to see and then i'll implement it in i am going to move while we're here i'm going to move this and take this down and i'm going to move this one here as well and i'm going to have these situated halfway between each of the doors probably be at the beginning of the next episode i'm fighting bone mass with um vidagave and crafty mantis this weekend so i'm trying to get this episode all done and dusted ready to release before that so that i can do the bone mass at the beginning of the next episode so i'll, I'll try and do that but if it doesn't all work out you'll see it soon i'm waffling so let's get building shall we so we are going to put the camera in our hands i'm going to quickly build up these again just so we've got a rough idea of sizing and how long everything is so they were three weren't they so there's one there already the troll damaged this by the way in one of the fights i wasn't there present at the time so i managed to survive it and um, we're going to do that then we're going to grab this quickly and come down and down right so that's all in there so that's our kind of width of our entrance way but the idea i think is that we might even have archery towers in here so i might ah oh, see see the brain boggles i could have the ramps coming up and we just put some extra archery towers in let me know what you think in the description below of how i should have done it um because i will be doing this off camera and finishing off so if you have any ideas of how you think i should be doing this please leave the comments down below so while i am building this i can read your comments and try and implement the ideas you the brilliant ideas that you guys come up with right so we've got these big thick stone bits here and then we've also got these little ones which are slightly thinner so if i put them down like this we can actually see the size of them and we'll put them next to each other and then look at that so They are roughly the same thickness, would you say? I'm gonna grab that little one again. See, they are they are the same thickness. So okay, so there's no thinner bits there. We've got stairs and we've got um, stone floor and we've also got a stone arch, which is what I want to kind of put in. But I wanted, I think what we will do is we'll use the tall one, and I can bring the ground up afterwards, and then we could come in like that. Do you think a troll would climb up that? I don't think he would. I think that's good. That adds a little bit of detail onto the side there. So then we come in here. What we can do is add our... Do we want to add core wood for that? These are all the things that we can build. These are the new implements they put in in um, Hearth and Home, which are absolutely amazing. Not a lot else extra that have come in here other than we've got these cage floors, which might look quite nice for the top, actually. And then we've got the iron beams and the iron poles. So I might go and get some iron, actually. Put this here. Put that there. I'm going to take you out and you out. Put you there and you there. We'll then put the arch in. I think. I'm not liking that. Like I said, I want most of this out of, out of um, stone and I want to put the rest and use wood to detail. So we're going to try these. We need a forge. Oh, Billy. Right, okay, forge. Six copper, four coal, wood and a workbench. Okay, I'm going to go and do that off camera and I'll bring you back in. So we're back. I've got the iron. I've got the uh, forge is just there burning away so i can even if i put a roof over that repair my tools so we're going to put that there and we're going to put that there i think that yeah it looks good looks good i've changed my mind about this bit here though what i think i'm going to do is we're going to grab this stone here put that up the side i'm going to take that out and take that out i want to collect the stone from there again thank you very much and what we'll do is we'll put stone... No, not that one. We'll put these in here. Let me do that. Hmm. Again, I keep changing my mind. Right. We'll do this, this, this. And then I'll put one here to make it look like the brick wall pattern. one on the end and go up 
Missing stone. Missing stone. Right. This is where all my resource gathering will come in handy. Right, so that's going to be the inside of our wall. I have to grab the um, cultivator later. We're going to put another one of those. We could have that that way. No, I'm going to have that. This is no way. But what I was going to do back here was put the wood behind here. So we could put wood panel there. Can I get rid of that? Yeah, I did. Right. And the wood panel. There. I'm going to have to have three. Yep. That fits perfectly. Right. And then we put. I'm up here. Two of those up there, like that. How much iron we've got left? One iron left. So I'm going to put that on this side here. Put that there, that there. I'm going to get rid of that and get rid of that. Try and get these symmetrical. Don't want to lose any of the resources that took me hours to gather. And we're going to put this up there like that. We're going to grab some more stone. I'm going to go two more higher on there. Put that on the top there. Put one more on there and a double on... No, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. On the top there. Again, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. I want to get these arches in. So we're going to put that in there. Doesn't like it. So that's hit building limit. So how about we Arch. Lovely. Right, so we're gonna grab our hammer. I'm gonna break that. Break that. Yes, I want the wood back. Thank you very much. Then we're gonna grab our wooden board here. And if we come on the inside. That in like that. So on the inside here, but it looks like that. What do we think? I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to sort that out. But this is the kind of idea I was going to have. Have one that side, one that side, and we'll pull the length between. And I'll sort out the top bit with you uh, once I finish this. So progress update. We have both sides of the bottom done. I'm going to put another torch in here in the middle at some point, And um, I'm going to take these out. In fact, I'll take them out now. So we're going to change that up for cordwood, I think. I'm not liking that too much as how it is. They're too small. Oh, ah, that was a wrong one. Okay, right, we're going to fix that. Turn around. In you go. Right, cool. So, yeah, that's all that there. Open the gate. I'll get the cordwood and I'll show you the other side. So through the gate here, this is going to be iron eventually. Once I've managed to uh, smelt the iron that we got the other day with... Uh, Mantis, I have put this up here and this will all be decorated out and stuff like that. So quickly so you can see everything else that's going on. 
So this is going to be here. I'm going to put one that side as well. We do need to put stuff across here and then carry the uh, the wall on that side as well and put the ladders up. So I'm going to do that off camera. And then what we're going to do is put the top on. So it's going to be a bit higher and we're going to have to try and design something for the top. I want to kind of pull it out a bit. So I'll show you what we're doing with that once we get around to it. So I'm just going to finish off this quick. So jump down here. Everything seems to like, as soon as it rains, look at that. The rain's done that damage. Like, does more damage than a troll does. Seems a bit off. Get the hammer out. I'm thinking... Look at this, we've got all the beams, long beams and stuff like that, which is brilliant. We've got these as well. I want to put some of these on. We've got wooden shutters. <gasps> That's so new! Awesome! Oh, I'm going to love this. Yes, definitely. Right. My idea was that we're going to grab... Do long beams two metres? That's two metres. So I might keep that. And then we're going to come out 45 degrees, I think. We want to come onto the edge. I have to do this from downstairs. What we could do is no, not that. I want the floor. We put that out like that. We can stand on that to do do our work, right? So we we'll grab that forty-five degrees. I think I'm going to go for the long one, right? And then we want to flip this round this way. One two put that up like that and then we can grab the short one I'm gonna go there between the two if I can get it to attach might have to walk along the beam right this is we do that then right. we don't like it but that should make all that green Do that there and here. Why oh, that's still? We're gonna grab a half. Put half there, half there. So that one like that. That there, that there. That there and that there. So we can still shoot out over the top if anything's coming. But it looks good from down that bit there. I think I might put the cross piece there and cross pieces across there because I think that will look a lot better. So we'll go up there quickly and do that now. Yeah, that's not looking too bad. It's not looking too shabby. Tell me what you think. Be much appreciative. Appreciated. So these are the two balconies we've got so far. I've been putting poles up around the t back and the top. I want the sloping roof to slope that way there. Have I got any... I've got some normal wood on me. So what we could do is get the pitch roof. I think we want to go for a slow slant. We can start putting the roof on. So that overhangs that way. Which is... I think that's cool that it can overhang out the back. Or maybe we want it to overhang out the front side. Now I'm going to put it out there like that. So we've got a little overhang out the back. No one's going to see that. And we've got the big overhang out the front. And then we want to put a pole at the back here. So I dare say it will be placed there. That's not where I want it. That's in line there. So we'll put that there. Put that there. We'll put that there. That there. That there. So just join that like that. I think that looks alright. That looks alright. Which does mean that none of this will break now. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I mean, we could put solid something in here. Maybe just a high pitch. So it goes high and then low. And obviously I'm going to dress this up. Put some things sticking out the front. And then have our dragon heads on there. I could even, if I've got the fine wood on me. We get the hammer. I wonder if we could put the... Are they a bit too big? 
Don't mind them in the middle there. But that highlights that that's not actually that central. Or unless we stick them on the side. Workbench is missing. No, that's because the workbench is there. Okay, so I might have to build another workbench. Which I don't have enough wood for. Can I... We get it on there. Can we just sneak it on? Come on. That's it there. And then we come over this side and we stick it on this side. And then I might put some on. Here and here. Dun, 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 dun. Grand reveal. I mean, it's looking pretty good. Isn't it? I think that looks all right. We've got the uh, decoration on here. I need to put some banners on it, and I might put the banner right up there. So I have got one on here that I've collected the piece for the red one I was trying to put on earlier. Around there. If I jump, and I get it. I can't get it right up there. Maybe if I put it in here, actually. Like that, just there. Adds a little bit of extra decoration. I'll see if I can get Cortez to uh, spruce it up a bit. Anyway, I think it looks good, though. I mean, it's going to do the job. I mean, look, that looks pretty good from a distance, doesn't it? Tell me, tell me if I'm wrong. I was thinking of getting something a bit grander up here. And let me know if you think that should be the case, but it would end up... I mean, it wouldn't be there for any reason. We'd have to put another floor on. I mean, it would get the, the trolls will only stand to the bottom of this. From what I can remember, the trolls will... Their heads will hit the top of here, so... And we could try and decorate in that bit as well. But, you know, I think it looks pretty good. So, that is it, I'm afraid. I'll quickly run in there, though. Actually... You need to run inside. Come on. Come on, Bobbit. Can't show these people just the front of it. So we come around here. We've got, obviously, all inside here. I'm going to put the iron gates on as well, actually, before I say goodbye. So I am jumping the gun a bit. We're going to decorate all these. I might take this bit out here and just have that as a slope, if I can. But that's looking too looking pretty good. And we run around, and we can jump up here. So the idea is to climb up, and any extra wood I'm going to finish putting all this around the outside of here as well just to kind of dress that up but you can come up here i've got a workbench up here just so that if anything needs to be repaired or you want to craft some arrows while you're up here you can so what, what i might do is put a chest either side and we could put feathers and flint and wood and stuff like that in there so we can keep crafting arrows but look there's our little place there of our pine trees that we put in and you can see right out here so any trolls coming and i've just realize that from from here the other gates just around there so what i might do is take these out completely and because we can fire from the side we don't need these little um shooting towers in between so you come around here and we can just nearly see there's the gate there look so the other tower is going to be here so we should be able to encompass all the way around from all four towers so, I only need to build another three. I'm going to put the iron gate on quickly, and then I'll say goodbye to you guys. So, I'm just going to go and get the iron. So, I've got the iron. Quickly come around here. We're going to take these gates down. I'll get the iron gate up first. So, it's four iron. We've got the forge. So we'll take that out. And the gate is that way round. We'll put one there. I think this might mainly be for looks. We put that in there. So we get rid of that. Yeah, so we've got the bar still in the middle. So most of it is just for looks, but that finishes it off. And I've got a little bit of stone left as well. So I'm gonna quickly <laughs> I just want to do this before I say goodbye. We do that. And I'm gonna come out one other side. So that's our front door. Maybe they won't be able to... Yeah, see, look, the mobs won't be able to jump up there either. So that might work, actually. So the lip idea has probably come into being there. So we can do that there. 
we're missing stone. I don't want to use too much stone. What I'll do is off camera I'll get some more stone. But I'd like the idea of that being like that. we we'll shut these gates. Come on. We're going to have to jump up a little bit. That's not... They will be run over. So hopefully the mobs can't get into that bit there. And what we might end up doing actually is putting the stone slabs all the way across here. So that it kind of ties in with the ground level there. So we can go off and get some more stone at some point and do that. But look... So I hope you enjoyed the episode uh, and I hope you enjoy the gatehouse. Um, I hope you enjoyed the raids at the beginning. We've done quite a lot in this episode and like I say, next episode we are going after Bone Mass, the next boss. So it's all happening quite quickly for me, but um, I think the other guys have been waiting really. So uh, let me know what you think about the build, what we could do to improve it, any like changes we could do would be greatly appreciated. And I want this to be as much your project as my project. But I'm going to say adios for now. Look up, guy. Come on. Adios for now from the gatehouse. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.